what's going on YouTube Barbarossa here and I'm launching my new YouTube channel that will be featuring gameplay videos and tutorials so sit back relax and enjoy the video. In today's tutorial video I'm going to be showing you all how to build these super awesome animal breeder slash cookers that works with sheep, pigs or cows. Stay tuned. To get started building this animal breeder slash cooker you're going to need the contents of my inventory and uh, what you're going to need is 39 blocks, building blocks of your choice, something uh, non-flammable, uh, two dispensers, three hoppers, four p pieces of glass, a stone slab, an oak fence, three buttons, a sticky piston and a regular piston, a bucket of water, a bucket of lava, and then these blocks here are going to be to cover the ports. Uh, if you're going to build it outside, you'll need this so that the rain doesn't affect uh, your cooking so you'll need a couple extra slabs and a uh, and a uh, four additional building blocks for the redstone to transport the cooked items to a easily accessible chest you're going to need um, a block of redstone a dropper a chest four four or five pieces of redstone uh, four redstone repeaters a redstone comparator two redstone torches and uh, to get started with this you're going to need an area that is three blocks deep by f three by five area too deep and that is to build it so that it's um, ground level so we'll go ahead and dig this out here too deep and once you get this area dug out you want to build a figure eight down here like so and uh, on one side of this figure eight you want to put a piece of fence here and then on the other hole you want to put a hopper facing forward and now to build this with the distribution system that I had that I have uh, you're gonna need to remove those two blocks here and then clear out a space right in front and you want to put a dropper facing upwards right here with a chest on top and this is going to be so that you can access your cooked meat and then the back of that hopper or the back of that dropper you want a hopper facing in and then another hopper so the it's just basically on the funnel through there uh, on top of this first hopper that we place you want a, a stone slab and then we can go ahead and fill in the second layer like so and uh, we're going to need to remove uh, one of these one or two of these blocks here but we'll get to that later that's for the um, automatic cooking well the the automatic on off for the lava so behind the hopper you want to put your dispenser there and then to the side of where you place the fence you want another dispenser and that's for your water go ahead and fill in some more of the structure whoops we don't need to place a block here what we want there is our regular piston facing towards the water dispenser and we shall put like so a couple more blocks up we want to leave these faces open and that's going to be for our buttons and we can go ahead and place buttons here if we like and then glass panes in the front like so and this is that one extra block I told you about and we'll get to that now so on the side with the lava dispenser you're going to want to come to the back and you're going to want to remove these two blocks here actually let's go ahead and remove those three and then you want to place your sticky piston upside down like that you're gonna wanna place your redstone block here and now it's safe to put the lava in the dispenser because you did you hear the click that activated that we didn't wanna do that yet until we put the uh, redstone block here but now we're good so behind the lava dispenser you're gonna wanna put 
one repeater facing the back of the dispenser couple pieces of redstone snake around here and that way when you click that it'll do automatic on off for the lava we can go ahead and place the lava in our dispenser and we'll do a little test here on off perfect okay this button here is for our uh, piston translocation of the animals and on this side we're going to put one bucket of water and that is going to aid in feeding of the animals we can fill this in here now and um, that's basically it for the structure we're done with the basic structure for the extra pieces I was talking about now if we're building this outside and it starts raining the animals that are on fire will get put out by the fire so to prevent that we're going to just put a little protective covering over the animals like so and that will prevent them from when you're feeding them it'll prevent anybody from popping out which in this it's usually not a problem but uh, on the other side this slab over the top will prevent the rain from putting the fire out and uh, I did it this way so that it looks a little bit more uniform now to do the redstone we will go ahead and dig out the front section here you want to go two down and then you want to give yourself about three or four blocks in front to give room for the redstone that we're going to put like so and then out of the front of the dropper we want to put a comparator come on now so we'll put a comparator put that on subtract mode a repeater facing into a block on the side here you want a torch with a repeater facing the contraption into another block with a torch on the back and this will bring the items up into the chest on the other side here you're going to need redstone going into a repeater facing the front or excuse me facing the contraption and another piece of redstone going into the side of the comparator that's it for the redstone you can fill this area back in so that it is not visible and we are done this thing is complete I will go ahead and get some cows in here and uh, be back in a second okay we're back I got about 20 cows in here and I will go ahead and demonstrate how to feed and cook these guys so over here on your water side you want to press that button and jump up here and then it's easily fed try to get all of them that you can and uh, once they start showing hearts then you know that everybody got uh, enough food to breed and looks like we're there now so go ahead and turn that off and now you got your uh, grown-up cows and your baby cows all mixed together you hit the piston in the middle and the baby cows will pop over to the other side I like to give it a couple shots because I've had a few times where not all of the baby cows get uh, transported to the other side and then all you got to do is wait for these little guys to grow up and when they grow up they'll cook so I'll be back as soon as these guys grow up okay we're back and our little baby cows have grown up and they are ready to cook now we should have about 10 cows in here since we've got 20 on this side so we should get about 10 or so here so we'll go ahead and cook them and uh, see how we did this should be enough to kill them without uh, destroying the drops and everything should funnel into this chest here and uh, we'll have plenty of cooked meat and leather from cows 
As you can see, this thing works fairly uh, well with cows. Uh, there's some minor modifications if you want to build this for sheep or pigs, and I will go ahead and show you that here. I'm back, and I've built two more animal breeder slash cookers. Uh, both of them are exactly the same, uh, with the exception of uh, one minor modification. So as you can see on the cow cooker, you need a stone button here uh, to cook the cows for the right amount of time. For uh, pigs, you're going to need a wooden button. And the, the wooden button will keep the lava in the chamber a little bit longer, uh, cooking, the ca uh, cooking the pigs rather. If you had a stone button here, it will damage the pigs, but it won't kill them. And then when you try it again, it'll kill them and destroy all of the drops. So on a, if you're going to be breeding pigs in this, you definitely need a wooden button on the lava side. Uh, the other buttons doesn't really matter. Uh, you can go all wood if you wanted to keep it uniform. And for the sheep, you need to have a lever instead of a button. And when you cook them, you want to flip the lever up and down really quick. And uh, I will demonstrate that here in a minute. And also when you do this, you're going to need the lever to be in the down position with no lava in. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have no lava in the dispenser, uh, put the lever in the down position, then fill the lava uh, dispenser with, or fill the dispenser with the lava bucket, and then when you cook them, you just flip it up and down real quick. So I will go ahead and demonstrate the pigs real quick. Uh, the pigs are a little bit different from the cows and the sheep as well, because the pigs the baby pigs stay in the breeding chamber and the adult pigs go to the cooking chamber so because of this you will need to make sure you replenish your pigs every so often by breeding them and not cooking them so that you can keep your pigs uh, stocked up here so you can see we we fed these pigs and uh, the adult pigs will move to this side the baby pigs will stay here so to keep a, a good supply here, you're going to need to breed these guys when they grow up and not cook them. Just keep, leave them in the uh, breeding chamber and let them grow up. So here, now that we've got our pigs here, we can push the button and the lava should stay and cook them for the right amount of time. And uh, all their drops will fall into the chest. And as you can see, the uh, cooked pork is coming through. I think this piece of raw pork was probably there from a test that I did to make sure everything was working properly. And as you can see, we got plenty of uh, pork chops here. Now for the sheep, uh, we're going to do the same thing. So let me take out this spare stuff that uh, this is from my testing. So with the sheep in here, we've got a bunch of sheep that are already grown up and ready to cook. So what you need to do is on off that quickly. If you if you take your time, the, the lava will kill the sheep instantly and you won't get any of the drops. And as you can see, we get uh, both the cooked mutton and the wool. So if you were to build this and then let's say you can build a bunch of these for sheep and dye all of your sheep different colors, every time you cook some mutton you'll get that different color wool. So this could be a, a wool farm and a cooked mutton farm at the same time and uh, there we go so uh, I hope you enjoyed these uh, this tutorial and uh, be sure to uh, like and comment on these videos and subscribe if you haven't already I've got more stuff uh, in the works and I hope you come back and check me out again thanks well I hope you enjoyed that video please don't forget to subscribe like and comment see ya